I'm doing a timing belt job on the 2005 Land Cruiser. This is the 2UZ FE engine. Oftentimes when I get the water pump out, I, I find I have an issue with, after I wire brushed and cleaned this gasket service with pitting here. This one's not too bad, but there is some pitting. What happens is this coolant um, gets behind there and starts analysis and starts pitting into the block. Let me get up a little closer here for you. Got some there. A little over on this tip over here. But before I get to that, I'm gonna, I've stuck some uh, shop towels. They're lint-free towels in any of my coolant ports just to keep dust and I'm going to use a green scratch pad. You can use a green scratch pad on this surface. I'm going to use it in here. Sometimes I find these pitted. This, so I'm just going to clean that up a bit. Then I'll vacuum out my shop rag, pulling out any dust with it before I start assembly. Didn't get that in there real good. There we go. So you don't want to just work one spot. You want to work around it. You want to make sure you're being very symmetrical about getting it nice and clean. And uh, not just wearing down one spot. That's looking real good. Once the coolant gets in there. I noticed some guys on the East Coast, when they assemble this one, they put uh, grease on the O-ring. Um, they have a lot of problems with, you know, corrosion, freezing things in. Seems to work okay. Others I've seen put FIPG gasket form in place gasket in these, that is total wrong. You do not want to do that. I just assemble them with a little bit of dish soap, Dove. Dish soap is a real good one. Uh, that's what the book calls for. I just go by the book on that. So I want to inspect that surface, make sure there's no pitting. Make sure I've got it perfectly clean. Oh yeah, that looks real good. So then I, I've wire brushed this already. I've cleaned this all up and I'm gonna work on these pits. The first thing I wanna do is use a little bit of my chemical cleaner. And this is all I'm doing, the chemical cleaner is just simply uh, acrylic uh, wax and degreaser remover. It's used on acrylic paint, on automotive paint. This particular brand isn't available, but any any brand does it it's uh it's a very clean product and it evaporates uh 100 you don't leave any residue behind and it takes off any oils and waxes that may be on there i like to hit it with a little shop air i like to do that while for my procedure for when I find pitting is I use FIPG and I, I use the one specified by Toyota for coolant 1282B um, it's expensive stuff but it's the best you can use in here and I just simply goop some on there Get it pressed into all them pits best I can. 
That's what I'm after is filling the pits. Okay, now a lot of guys just go ahead and assemble. Well, this spot does not call for FIPG. It's a gasket. It's a, it's a metal gasket with a rubber seal on it. Do not. And I just simply take a razor and now I scrape it flush. So all I'm trying to do is fill in the pits. And the idea here is to get it nice and flush. You're not trying to build anything up. And you want the pits filled in so the coolant doesn't get into the pits and slip under the gasket and cause additional pitting. Like I said, some of these ones, especially getting up around a quarter million miles, and coolant system problems because they haven't been properly cared for or serviced. The pitting can get pretty bad. Last thing you want to do is finish a timing belt job and then have a silly coolant lake I think that looks good here's the bad part about the procedure is I like to let it cure overnight before I put my gasket on probably don't have to go that long but typically I try and get my timing belt tore down and and then uh, uh, get this cleaned up find out what parts I'm going to need like maybe a tensioner or fan bracket um, and get my FIPG in anywhere I need it and then just call it a night and uh, work on getting parts and then come back the next day for assembly. Hope that little trick is helpful to somebody out there. Bye now.